Hello, and welcome to this edition of the Dean's Video Newsletter. Today we're going to talk about the 130th anniversary of the school, and to do that we're going to be interviewing Dr. Paul Potter, who's the HANA Chair in medicine, in the history of medicine, shortly. However, before that, I'd just like to give you a little bit of the current history of where we are. From our humble beginnings, uh, in a cottage on James Street, where the cleaner actually was responsible for teaching anatomy, uh, we've grown considerably over the last 130 years. Uh, we've now settled into our current home here on the main campus, and in doing so, the school has grown quite a bit. Uh, we've gone from being a faculty of medicine uh, to being a faculty of medicine and dentistry to becoming the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry. And each aspect of that has brought with it tremendous history and tremendous achievements. Uh, our School of Dentistry, uh, led currently by Dr. Harinder Sandhu, uh, has had tremendous achievements in not only dealing with healthcare issues related to oral health locally, but has a large international imprint on it. We have expertise in bone growth and redevelopment uh, that is the envy of many other centers in the world and one of the leading education centers in dentistry. When you couple that to what we do as a medical school, it's a tremendous strength to have the two joined together. So the course of our development over these 130 years has been exciting. You're going to hear a lot more about new developments coming along in the future. Uh, but at the moment, I want to focus on what we've done in the past, and there's nobody better to do that than our Hannah Chair of the History of Medicine. So I'd like to introduce to you Dr. Paul Potter. That's where you carried that out. Well, I mean, I was here 37 years, and I mean, I saw yeah. students right from the beginning, so I guess I have 37 classes. And actually, um, I still run into people in the community, you know, f physicians who say, oh, I remember you were there in, you know, the 70s or whenever they graduated. So I would say, you know, that, that whole range. The school was founded by a group of general practitioners, gen one wasn't, but the rest were, general practitioners who practiced in London who wanted to have a medical school with their own money. They put up their own money to pay for the building, the library and everything. So those 12 or 16 or however many people it was, they founded the school. Now you can imagine, they all practiced medicine and they gave one lecture a day. So that was a very amateurish in a way on the other hand, very community-minded beginning. That was in uh, 1880. The next step is after the Second World War, where a man by the name of Edward Hall first was our Dean of Medicine for two years, and then he became president of the university. And he brought uh, Bertram Collop as Dean in 1947. Bertram Collop was really a, a world-famous, important scientist. He'd worked with Banting right at the beginning. He'd been at McGill, professor for many years. He discovered a hormone in the, in the parathyroid gland. So he was really, I mean, a very important scientist. He then built up the scientific school in a way it had never been there before. And I think we can say that from that period, we have, for example, the discovery of the Barr body by Murray Barr in 1949. We have the discovery of vinblastin, an important chemotherapeutic agent, in the 50s by doctors Noble and uh, Cutts and, and Beer. So I think we can say, uh, we, 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 we got on the world stage in, in science at that, at that time. And I think that is the period that sort of ended when I arrived. And as I've told you, since I've arrived, we've gone from being sort of a, a, sort of a general scientific school to becoming more specialized in areas such as neurology or imaging and so on, where we're, we're very specialized and we can then compete again at the world level. So I think those are the steps in the development of the school.